yellow again. What is it? It's it's just a leaf, isn't it? I only chose it because it was pretty. Didn't know it was rare. I found them near the Juggernaut to the south, but I didn't see any grapevines. I saw fresh gooboo tracks, though. Maybe maybe the leaves came from vines growing on the back of one such beast. If if you go looking for it, please be careful. Some gooboos are more territorial than others, and you may have to defend yourself. I don't know if I want to collect the grapes of a gooboo. Sounds a bit... Sus. I have come for your grapes! not his grapes. That was his teeth. Wait, we did get some grapes? Back we go. Back to the lab. Such big grapes you have. All the better to make wine with, dear. What do you have to do to make your chocobo faster in an area? Just like main quests or any kind of quest? Or is it like specific quests you have to do? What did Dress have to say, Petro? Tell me everything. Aha! I was right! This smell, this texture, I hold in my hands a Vegas grape vine cutting. Come now, enough of this nonsense. I've heard talk of your discovery, and I refuse to believe that a common adventurer and a novice vintner could... Twelve is my witness. It is a Vegas grape vine. Where did you, ever did you find this fantastic specimen? What? You would offer this to me? But why? There is none better position to reconstruct the Vegas vineyards than you, Master Burgerliant. You have the resources, the knowledge, and the passion to do so. It would be selfish of me to keep this cutting. I never knew you cared so deeply about your craft. Thank you, good sir. I will not squander this gift. In just a few years' time, I swear that every tavern across Eorzea will once again be clamoring for a cask of Wineport's legendary Vegas wine. Oh, look at that. Oh, what a little bit of kindness will get you. Sir, you need it. Wait, the shape of this bottle, the scent of this label. This couldn't possibly be. A 1547 Bacchus? But that's impossible. This vintage has not been seen since years before the calamity. It was the crown jewel of my personal collection. For years, I debated opening it, wondering if today or tomorrow would be the ideal time. But now I realize that it was never meant for me. It should be savored by the saviors of Wineport, I say. He has made us an offer we cannot refuse. Master J. Jeruju will find no finer wine. You have forever changed wine port, Petra. Think of your kindness and your generosity. Ah, but do not permit me to delay you any longer. Pray deliver the wine to Captain Weisket. Hmm? Well, yes, I would very much like to drink it, but I'm a patient man. I have faith that one day I shall have another opportunity to taste its perfection. I was going to say the same thing. My character actually said the thing that I was thinking. 
All right, back to Costa del Sol. Your prolonged absence is beginning to concern me. So, what of the wine I asked you to bring? Is that seven hells? A 1547 Bacchus? Even I know how rare that is. I have to admit, I didn't think you had it in you. But congratulations, Petra. Thanks to you, this will be the most luxurious feast Costa del Sol has ever seen in years. Considering the lengths you went to, I hope our guests appreciate it. Speaking of which, your associate arrived a short while ago. She appears to be growing somewhat impatient. Perhaps you could tell her that the banquet is about to begin. What is that? Oh my god, I can get a little goo boo following me around. There are minions here. Independent. It's like a little Sully followed me around. Look at him go. It's incredible. You have the look of a woman who has been to the seventh hell and back. That a guest should be expected to supply the victuals to a banquet held in her own honor. And this while the shadow of Titan looms over us all, it beggars belief. I can only applaud your stoicism. Had I been asked to endure such ignominy, I fear I should have accepted my lot with less grace. I can't help but think that just looking around we would have found Titan quicker. Lady Ishtala! Lady Snake Boat! A thousand pardons for this extreme discourtesy! I was wholly unaware of your true identity, madame. Had I known, I would have never have permitted my man to subject you to such unspeakable ordeals. Come now, she must have sensed something was amiss. You didn't seriously think I would send you running the length and breadth of Voriorzia for a banquet, did you? Oh great, here we go. Spare her your mockery, captain. Your intent was unclear to me until this moment. And unlike me, Petra has no knowledge of your traditions. Mayhap you would be so good as to enlighten her. I just wanted the cheese. Aye, aye, fair is fair. There's no sense hiding it any longer. We five were chosen by our brothers and sisters, and before the company of heroes disbanded, we each swore a solemn oath. That any who would follow in our footsteps must be weighed and measured, not by their reputation, but by their deeds. Oh, give me a break. <laughs> Each man would judge these would be god slayers by his own criteria. If even one found her wanting, she would be rejected without a second thought. But if she proved herself worthy, we swore that we would do our utmost to support her cause. The world has ever been full of brave souls eager to give their lives for a righteous cause, but all too few capable of making a difference with their sacrifice. To send wave after wave of hapless adventurers into the jaws of a foe against whom they have no hope of victory is worse than futile. Titan is no one to be challenged lightly, and we will not be complicit in the deaths of the unworthy. Which is why the five of you deigned to test Petra with such commendable thoroughness. Time well spent, I am sure. But tell us, Captain, what is the assessment of you and your fellows? She's a brave one, that much is certain. She's will she willingly walked into the midst of danger despite my repeated warnings that it could cost her her life. Her skill is undeniable. She stalked her prey as relentlessly as any child of the sands and struck with precision with, when an opportunity presented itself. Too many adventurers these days care only for fortune and glory. Petra, however, is a kind and generous soul. I am certain she has no shortage of loyal allies who will gladly fight at her side. Wily Uplander is talentful plansmaker, tricksy foe for mighty rockman. And I killed a dragon. I can only concur with my colleagues' assessments. We five of the company of heroes hereby judge you a worthy challenger. 
cast down the Lord of Crags, Petra Snakeboat, and write a new chapter in the history of Eorzea. All this just for him to be like, he's that away. <laughs> With the formalities out of the way, let the festivities begin. Summon the dancers, pour the wine. Eat, drink, and be merry, my friends, for today we celebrate the birth of a new legend, Petra Snakeboat, Titan's Bane. Petra Snakeboat, Titan's Bane. It's got a nice ring to it. Bronze Skinned Beauty. All right. Congratulations, sweetling. Now relax and enjoy the show. It's only just begun. Wow, what a quest. Yes. Man, that just looks delectable. Now I'm even more hungry. Tasting the exotic feast triggers a divine revelation. In that brief transcendent moment, you glimpse the true form of reality, comprehend its fleeting nature, and cry out to the heavens in celebration. All right. <laughs> When you face the Lord of Crags, think not of Limsa Laminsa, Eorzea, or anything beyond his chamber. Think only of the men and women by your side. Fight for them, and they will fight for you. Remember that no greater victory was ever achieved alone, or no great victory was ever achieved alone. Psh, goodly Uplander must be facing mighty Rockman with clever fighty think. Gobby Flock cannot be coming to rescue this time. Ah, Petra, you brave fool. Promise me that when you meet Titan, you'll look him in the eye and tell him Landendel sends his regards. And this is such great information. This is really going to help me take down Titan. You are a veteran of countless battles, Petra, but this is but one more. Trust in your experience and you will prevail. You are blessed with a fortitude to rival the earth itself. Titan will struggle to break you, I think. You are kind to indulge them, Petra. This banquet is as much for the company as it is for you, whatever they may claim. I do not deny that they mean well, but now is scarcely the time for celebration. Though they have all but pronounced you the victor, the battle with Titan is yet to begin. The hour has come for the good captain to make good on his promise. We must speak with him again. Finally. Hey, look, mount speed. Priest. Finally, after all that, he's going to be like, he's that way. You must be eager to face Titan. As promised, we will show you the way. Travel to Bronze Lake in Upper La Nasia. There you will meet with Riol, another man who once served with the company. To ensure that this knowledge does not fall into the wrong hands, you will remain in hiding until you have given the correct signal. Give me on your map. Or give me your map. You must whistle loudly at three locations I mark. Only then will he appear to meet you in the fourth location. I realize this may seem excessive now, but you will see that it is more than reasonable once you comprehend the risks inherent in our method. Wine port, I guess. I feel like this entire quest line is like watching a rat go through a maze to get the cheese at the end, but he takes like the longest path possible. <laughs> Just goes around the entire maze in like a giant spiral. Get to the middle.
But hey, at least it was interesting on the way. Whoa. Those are some big boys. I don't think I'm supposed to go there yet. Think I could take one of these? Stopped targeting. I got him to half. I got him to half. And then he, uh... He cast haste. And died a horrible death. was that bad. I was able to get through the whole thing in four hours. Well, what I think is the whole thing, because we're still not a Titan yet. <laughs> we might get here and the guy's like, mm, I don't know, I know the rest of my cohorts liked you, but I don't really like you. Could you go fetch five wolf pelts to prove to me that you can take on Titan, even though you proved to literally the whole world at this point? You haven't proven it to me, so I'm going to need you to go fight a giant frog to prove to me that you can fight Titan. That's true. I'm obviously doing it faster than you would have back in the day. Because you would probably have to grind a bit. Or as I can just blast through it. What is this? The road more traveled. I'm all set. What is that? You cannot stop bathing dance. What? The We haven't banned him for what he is, but for what he has done, namely exposing himself to several of the other bathers. It is my duty to escort him off the premises, but just look at the size of him. Without that several extra helping hands, I fear this is not the end well for the <laughs> spring. Sure. We must defeat... The... Dancing Boogal. They should have given him a name like Pantsless Boogal or something. The Flash.
a side quest where you have to massage a half-naked grandpa. It's incredibly unsurprising. We did it. That guy flashed the bathers. And we killed him. <laughs> now wait a second. We're going to a bathhouse and we're gonna whistle really loudly. That doesn't seem like a good idea. I think we're gonna get kicked out. In before the flashing guy was the one that was we were supposed to talk to. <laughs> we just killed him. Oh great, I have to whistle at this guy. Sorry, it's part of my quest. I didn't mean to whistle directly into your ear. Ah oh, crap. There. That was actually Titan. We defeated Titan. Mission complete. Forgot to grab the crystal while I was in there. Greetings, lass. Might you be the one the captain said would come calling? Aye, I thought so. Pay attention now, because I ain't explaining my sieve twice. Okay, no, wait. No, no, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. If the captain told you I was coming, why do we have to do the whistle thing? I thought the whole point was like, you're mysterious and hidden, and I have to whistle, and then you'll know that the captain... But he already told you. Looks like this is indeed the Titan quest. Years ago, when we was weighing up how to get the Titan, one of our scouts stumbled across this beastman Aetherite, see? Yeah, what's that look for? Not familiar with him? He speaks of an un unamplified Aetherite, which has been claimed by a beast tribe. Lest you wonder, there is no fundamental difference between such Aetherites and those which you have used on countless occasions, Petra. Ah, well, if it ain't the Charlion lass, welcome back. Forgive me for interrupting, I had planned to await your report, but I succumbed to curiosity. The tunnels beneath Ogohomaro form a bewildering labyrinth that no outsider has ever fully explored. How the Company of Heroes managed to navigate it is a mystery I have long pondered. Ah, give us a bit of credit, credit, love. I don't know why I said credit. We weren't daft enough to try going in the front. The kobolds are always digging new tunnels and filling the old ones with traps. One wrong step, and the next thing you know, you've got hundred hundred tons of rock on your noggin. Suicide to even try, see? Funny thing was, the kobolds didn't seem to have no trouble finding their way around, and that it was that as got us thinking. I mean, Ugarmo mines are like a bleeding city, ain't they? And getting around in a city that big would be a right pain in the arse if you didn't have an Aethernet, wouldn't you? Wouldn't it? So it stood to reason that the kobolds must have one, didn't it? Hmm, even if there were Aetherite shards in the depths of Ogohomoro, you would have needed to attune yourselves to them before you could identify their signatures within the life stream. Ah, well, that's where you're wrong, love. We had this Charlion bloke to help us, see? He delivered us right into Titan's bedchamber, he did. 
I don't really know how he did it, but I do remember him saying it weren't nothing any Charlayan scholar worth or salt could manage. Did he now? Hmm. Locating a beacon in the absence of a known signature might be possible if the Aetherites in question happen to be... Ah, yes. But in order to guide a traveler to said beacon safely, a second party would be required to... Hmm. It is possible, in theory at least, yet I cannot be certain until I try. Plainly, all will depend upon whether or not I am worth my salt. Oh, you are, last. Don't you worry about that. Have a bit of faith in yourself. Why don't we all go to Zelma's Ruin and take a closer look at the Aetherite? It ain't far, though there's sure to be a few kobolds blocking the way. Not you can't handle mind. Whatever you say, buddy. piece of this. Oh, yeah. I really like this ability to get Chakra randomly in a battle now. It actually makes the Chakra system fun to use. I like running, I get to see more of the environment. And also, when you're in a new spot, the Chopo is really much faster than running anyways. Whoa, crystals, whoa. That's crazy, dude. So this is the Aetherite the Company of Heroes used to gain access to Titan's Sanctuary. Hmm, it is as Papa Limo speculated. In its present state, this Aetherite signal will not be strong enough for our purposes. I may, however, be able to use my own energies to amplify it. Alas, the task will monopolize my attention for the duration. It seems you'll have to proceed without me, Petra. I must remain need I must needs remain here and supplement this beacon's power lest you be denied your only path of escape. Fear not, I will summon the Maelstrom forces stationed nearby to protect us. With effort, it is possible that I may be able to stabilize the Aetherite signal and thereby join you, albeit belately. Until such time as I do, you will be on your own. So we're just going to send me in alone to fight Titan? What about everyone else in the part? Now, let us see if I am worth my salt. Nope. <laughs> I've located another beacon, one far below the mountain. I can only speculate as to what you will find there, so stint not in your preparation. Yeah, I mean, the company thinks I can be defeat Titan, so... The Navel. Well, they really called it the Navel. Alright, I guess it's Titan time. Also, even though only I can go, I have three other random people going with me.
Look, an overdweller. Yes, yes, an invader from above. She uses our aetherites against us. She has defiled Titan sanct sacred sanctuary. Trespassed, violated, defiled. Overdwellers must leave. Overdwellers must fly. Brothers and sisters, fear her not. Her fate shall be decided by the Lord of Crags. Hear me, overdweller. You and your treacherous brethren must be held to account for the breaking of the covenant. You shall be first to face judgment, then Limsa Laminsa and her oathbreakers, liars, betrayers, oathbreakers. O oh, great father, Lord of Crags, Titan, we summon you. Titan, we summon you. O oh, great father, Lord of Crags, Titan, we summon you. Titan, we summon you. So we're not even going to get a dungeon. I mean, they said we were going straight to Titan, so. be looking kind of goblin-y. He has come! He has come! The Lord of Crags! Titan has come! Overdweller, art thou deaf to their weeping? Thy vile kind coveteth ever the blessing of the land, and murdereth my children by the score, all in service to greed. Such sins are beyond pardon. Ah, but I am not the first to suffer thy defiance. Thou didst bring Ifrit low. Godless overdweller, thy myriad heresy shall not go unpunished. Upon thee shall I wreak a terrible vengeance. I was going to say the music sounds very different. dodging it. Oh, now it's... Now we're jamming. Understand. Is that just an auto hit or what? I get that he's like making the area smaller, but I don't think I can dodge it. Attacking his heart, by the way, not him. No target now. Ow. singing I was like all the Final Fantasy 14 songs I've heard all up singing they haven't had like any singing yet I was wondering when it was gonna start stuck help help 
I'm stuck. Help. <laughs> I am a rock. Somebody break the rock. Stop attacking Titan. Break the rock. Craig's great father Titan has fallen. That was uh, not as cool as Ifrit. Ifrit had like that gimmick. Titan just kind of had a couple moves that I couldn't dodge. Then he died. Yeah, I'm sure he's better on harder difficulties. But I wish the regular fight had been more interesting. The crimes of the Overdwellers shall never be forgiven, never be forgotten. No, no, never. It was your kin who broke the covenant. We have acted only in defense of our lands. Cease your aggression, or never will there be peace. Until our dying breaths, we shall defy you. Deny, decry, decry, defy. Wait, what do you mean? You said you were going to destroy all of Lavinza. What do you mean, defense? Now, these are the readings one would expect of an icon. I have seen enough. We proceed as planned. Are you sure that is wise, my lord? Your curiosity is untested and unproven. We do not yet know its true capabilities. Yeah, for sure. Like, doing it with a party that we're all similar to your level and having to do your... whatever your class does would definitely make the fights more interesting. Um, I find it interesting that we still have not really met these people. Like, I'm trying to... I'm trying to remember... or trying to think about, like, when this game first came out, how long it would have taken you to get to, like, this spot, right? Not as bad as Final Fantasy XI, but certainly, like, quite a long time. So they've really been building up these characters for a very long time without them being... Any, you know, without seeing them do anything. We had the one scene in their home area that was pretty interesting. But we still weren't there. Like, our character has not met these people at all. So... They've really been hovering these characters over our head for like a very, very long time. They, they were they were super hyping these characters when this game first came out. So I'm curious to see when we finally meet them if it lives up to the expectation. Because I can imagine playing this game when it first came out and having these characters be hyped up for this long, you know? Then trust in mine, Rita Tin. Interesting name. My curiosity, as you so eloquently put it, would have been would have bested Titan in the blink of an eye. Why, if there be truth to the legends, it could readily subjugate the whole of Eorzea given but a little while longer, is that not so? It is. No greater single power has ever been conceived, much less realized. What you say may well be true, but while such devices may win battles, I do not believe they will serve to change the course of this war. I would hope we see him in it. Could you imagine if they hyped him up this much and then you didn't ever even got to see him until the expansions? Oh, but they will. I have a little faith, my friend. I cannot endorse this course of action. I think I skipped that box. Oh. 
fool. And now she has a fourth. Fascinating. Carry on, Crystal Bearer. Fair enough, you have come. Your work is far from done. And not remain to mark his passing. Well, the Asians are nothing if not elusive. It is of little wonder that they should cast advanced teleportation magics as well. But that they would choose to consort with the Empire. What common goal could they possibly share? I feared I might arrive too late, but I see you had the matter well in hand. I have taken measures to ensure that we are not pursued, yet I cannot say how long they will hold. Take your leave while the kobolds are still in disarray. I will follow Anon. There is something I must investigate before I depart. I will teleport you to the Aetherite in Zelma's ruin and you will rendezvous at Camp Bronze Lake. Agreed? Why not tell me what you saw? Are we not on the same team? Yeah, I definitely like it. I just hope that when we finally get to interact with them, it's worth all the wait. Because like I said, if you were playing this game when it first came out, I mean, you're talking so long before you ever actually get to interact with these characters that they're hyping up. But no, they're definitely the most interesting part of the story. For sure. Hello there. them yeah like they're definitely the most interesting part of the story but if they end up not being as not living up to the hype when we finally meet them it's gonna be kind of a letdown but the one the one scene that we actually got to see them do stuff was definitely interesting I'm relieved to see you well but come let us discuss our next step Our next step is just to go back. The word will already have reached. Maelstrom Command Protocol requires that a representative of our order inform the High Commander of the mission's success. The honor is rightfully yours, Petra. Once again, I must commend you on a job well done. We shall speak again soon. That's what I figured. Uh, when do I normally go for this? Horizon, I think. Oh, wait. We're going back to... Oh, we're going back to the... Okay. My Elstrom. I thought we were going back to... Xion headquarters. Alright, well this is probably a good spot to uh, pause. Since we just defeated Titan. Let's go... to Maelstrom first before we pause how's it going Magnarmus? welcome good to see ya yeah I just don't think there was much to learn in that fight like, there was just attacks that hit everyone and don't stand on the outsides, apparently. <laughs> so you guys were saying that, like, um, originally, if you fell off the sides, you died, but then they changed it so that that doesn't happen? That seems a bit silly to me because, like... That felt like the only gimmick of that fight. 
was falling. Even though, I mean, there was no reason that you should ever fall. The only reason that I could have potentially fallen is because I didn't know that, uh... I didn't know that that's what the indicator meant. Oh, I see. It was permadeath. Versus now it's just regular death. I guess that's not a big deal then. Yeah. But yeah, I don't even see why you would ever fall once you know that that happens. Like, the Ifrit fight had the cool thing where you had to, like, attack the... the thing to stop the Inferno. There was something in that fight where I attacked his heart, but it was the only thing I could attack anyways, so I don't know. It's weird. Maybe if I... maybe later when I do the fight in heart or whatever... I'll get a better idea of how that fight actually works. Because, um... Yeah. Thanks to my AI companions and me being a DPS, we kind of just mopped the floor with them before he could do anything interesting. <laughs> okay, the heart... So it's it's a DPS check just like Ifrit. That's kind of... Like, I want to see them have, like, different mechanics. I mean, I know it's MMO combat, but MMO combat still has mechanics and gimmicks. It's not all just doing your role. Anyways, we will take a short break from 14 so I can eat lunch, and then we will continue for a double day of Final Fantasy 14 action.